Hi, uh, my name is Kshitij. Uh, I am the mobile lead for HOL, Hindustan Unilever, and I represent a company called PhD Media. Uh, so here I'm going to take you through what we did with KKT. Uh, so when we started out thinking about what we should do with, you know, the kind of challenges that we faced uh, in reaching out to media dark area, we went and did it ourselves. So what is KKT? KKT is a mobile application. Uh, and when you think about a mobile application, uh, these are the kind of challenges or platforms that one thinks of, right? Whether it will work on a 3G connection, 2G connection, what kind of operating system it will work on, uh, what will be the price of handset that we'll look at, what are the kind of different portings that we'll have to do for that application. KKT is none of this. There are no barriers like network, operating system, or price of handset. It's a simple missed call service on a toll-free number, so even if you have zero balance on your phone, you give a missed call on this number and you get 40 minutes of pure entertainment interspersed with uh, HOL brand ads. So I'm going to quickly take you through a short AV that we have. Uh, some of the numbers here are a little dated, but we'll take you through the latest numbers that we have as of now. How did Unilever reach a rural population that's plagued by daily power cuts? and only has 20% traditional media coverage. We created our very own media channel on mobile. And in just six months, this has become the biggest media channel in both our target regions of Bihar and Jharkhand. With a combined population of over 137 million, these regions are key. We knew that mobile ownership is three times higher than TV and that they were the main source of entertainment due to their battery charge. So, to integrate Unilever's brands into their lives, we created a new media. Leveraging popular content, we launched our own mobile-based media channel offering free, on-demand and always-on entertainment. Khan Kajura Pesan, appropriately translated as the Earworm Channel, offers music, jokes, and the latest Bollywood content, all interspersed with radio advertisements for Unilever's mass consumer brands. We brought mobile operators and content providers together to launch this innovative entertainment portal in a media first for India. To launch the station, we invited our audience to call a unique number and hang up, prompting us to call them back with popular content. Since launch, we've gained 32 million listeners. Adverts for Unilever brands have been heard more than 325 million times, leading to significant increases in spontaneous awareness. And the success doesn't stop there. The platform now has a built-in intelligence system that uses data dynamically by allowing listeners to tailor their content stream. And profiling questions programmed into the system allow us to deepen understanding of our users. We brought rural India out of the media darkness by creating what is now its biggest media channel. Making a huge difference to the lives of the people of Beha and Jharkhand and a huge difference to Unilever's brand presence. Hi, I'm Shweta. I'm also part of the mobile innovations team at Unilever. I think the presentation kind of spoke for itself on what we've done on KKT. Uh, but I'm going to try to see a few ad additional things that KKT did. Um, so what's the here and now? We, we had started with UP East and Bihar as target markets because that's where we thought the problem was most acute. But as you see now, we've uh, reached out to other Hindi speaking, primarily Hindi speaking markets as well. So we have listenership not only in Bihar, UP East, we are in West Bengal, we are in MP, Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Haryana, Punjab. Uh, you'd also see the first half of the second curve where Growth has been fairly steep. At that time, we were looking to see as many people as we could acquire and uh, engage through uh, this free content available to everybody. Now on, from uh, this year onwards, the focus is a little more on engagement to see how many people uh, stay with us for how long, how much of the content are they listening to, what's the preference of their content, something that I'll take you through in the next slide. Uh, so, we obviously provided a certain sort of entertainment to what who we thought were media dark. 
what did it provide to us we also uh, uh, aim to develop a, a dashboard for ourselves which also allows us intelligence on these consumers what are they doing how much time are they spending on the portal what is the content that they are listening to what is the most favored content if you see there's a speedometer which tells you at any point in time how many people are calling at the same time so it was not only a breakthrough for what we provided to the consumers there was also effort put in to see that it gives us the right analytics to make sure that what we build and how we improve it is based on consumer insight um so it, in short what we had was a data intelligence platform you could monitor every spike every call drop the time call time the duration the affinity to com content most importantly what's the content that's being most heard what's the content that people are not possibly not listening to as much uh so that it gives us insights so that we can create content which is most popular which is more customized uh and we'll be able to serve to him over a course of time uh so the journey so far is sharing some numbers with you we are at this time 36 million subscribers strong we've delivered 480 million ad impressions through this channel uh there are 3.1 million uh, users who engage with us on a per month every month basis they spend on an average about 21 minutes Uh, on the portal listening to the free content um we also the video was talking about how we also ask questions we profile users we try to see who they are who's listening to our content we have about half a million profiles created uh and more interestingly now we are also opening up uh kan khajura station to other brands and other companies to advertise which we think is going to be the next big thing uh in the coming 12 months um we think we've done well but we don't want you to take our word for it i think our next slide kind of tells us that we kind of seem to be in the right direction 68 awards so far and counting thank you what's your content so it's um, bollywood songs it's dialogue it's so it's like mobile radio we have an rj who takes you through chiki music and movies yes Mo music, music audio movies uh, a lot of interstitials you know jokes and properties that no news. no, no news. news it's no news it's pure play entertainment yes you know one of the debates that we had in looking at this particular product was how is it a platform um because a platform is essentially open to other content <coughs> so a platform is essentially this is it's it's a space that others can also put their content on others can also put their advertising on so it didn't yeah. seem like a platform to us so like it's an ad campaign right like so platform. now it's opened up as a platform to other advertisers all this while it was a platform for hul to advertise to the right pg mm -hmm. using their brand now it's opened up to other non compete advertisers so if, let's say mahindra finance wants to reach out to people and sell tractor loans this is the right medium So essentially you've created your own media channel and right. all your in fact we virtually stopped spending on radio in these markets this is our radio channel and and in a way the way we see it as as platform is actually we brought together content partners and telco to make sure that its accessibility is to everybody right so anybody in this room any you paying them both you know you haven't brought them together as such. yeah we have we have we have paid them both but uh, yeah okay the, uh, the way i look at it is how is um, tv or print as a media right it, what does it do for you it opens up a channel for a brand to speak with consumers i think we've done exactly the same thing with a with a population who we didn't have any other real way of connecting with other than say door to door going or wall painting or wall painting which is kind of low impact i mean it lacks scale right so this in a way we we can call it a media channel a platform which connected us to that media dark pg who is very important for our uh, brand who is very important for unilever and in a way in a format that the consumers like so uh, yeah why we, of course we are paying them but by, while we are doing that everybody else also had the same where with all right what unilever has done anybody else could have also done but i think We are the first one to have uh, for, done that. In fact, mobile radio as a concept was not really it's new, right? It's not a, but it was a paid service. It was operator to 
the, the user. It wasn't yeah. a platform which was available to anyone irrespective of what network he was on and completely free. What's hmm. the percentage of repeat callers on the service? Uh, on a month-to-month -month basis, we have um, about 25% people who come Repeats. back. Yeah. What is the, when you are when, sorry. Uh, go on. Uh, when you were building the consumer profile, yes. what is the most surprising insight you got into that? Um, so actually, uh, to answer that question, we at this time are asking really basic questions. Like? Right? We are asking... For example, gender, men or women, because it's a one at this time it's kind of one way we deliver yeah. content to them. We thought we should make it interactive, so we are asking gender, we are asking age, we may be asking, you know, we are trying to also uh, put them in e like SEC categories to see which uh, strata of society are they coming from. So we are asking them if they have a washing machine at home. So we have a few questions. Which, if you answer, I'm able to categorize users. How do you do? How do you collect this data? Because one way so through what, through the voice. I'm asking the question. It's the same portal where I say at the end of this portal, there's a contest for you. Answer a few questions. Some lucky winners could get awarded some talk time or something like that. So it's a question asked while or at the end of this uh, entertainment capsule, people answer questions and we kind of build that profile. Uh, also, to answer your question. Uh, the interesting thing has been that about 35-40% of our audience is women, which is also fairly good because that's the most elusive. Rural and non-TV, non-media dark, media dark regions are anyway difficult. The woman is even more difficult because she's normally not the primary phone owner. And so in the actual scheme of things, she has her own mobile phone. It could mean that she's calling from her husband's phone when he comes back, and when it becomes like the family phone. Which then brings you to, is there a particular time of day when you say yes. calls spike up? Uh, so we have calls through the day because there are men and women both call. But say Monday mornings our call rate is fairly high. Um, uh, evenings after 6.30, 7 o'clock also our call volume becomes high. In fact, one of the things that we were discussing in the morning is... Uh, so I opened, up, <laughs> yeah, I opened up the dashboard at let's say 1.30 in the morning. I was putting this presentation together. And this particular screen that you saw, right, where you have number of concurrent callers, this one, the one on the bottom, it showed zero callers at 1.30. Around 3.34 when I was trying to take a screenshot, I suddenly <coughs> saw a spike of 75, 95, 100 callers coming in. So imagine a guy or a lady who's just woken up, you know, may have picked up the phone and tried to call and see what's playing. And what we've done now is... Uh, regular radio style programming, yeah. uh, day part wise breakup. So in the mornings you have spiritual content, in the afternoons you have different type of content. So we've seen pick up uh, content getting picked up much better. I mean, traditionally, in case of mobile radio, it's, it's, it's been during meal times that it's been played, typically. Right. It's in case of regular mobile. Right. Radio. No, but in, in this case we see usage happening we predominantly in the morning. So. So Monday morning blues are not just for cities. <laughs> yeah. So they are, they are no longer Monday morning blues perhaps for them because they have some entertainment. Right? And one question, is it right, entirely broadcast right now? Are you customizing content? Or we, is it we, we are customizing. Base, so we, at this time we are capturing consumers' uh, feedback on content. So when we play something for them, we ask them if you'd like. If you like it, press 1. If you'd like to skip it, press 2. So we, we are gathering insights and saying, okay, this is the content which is getting skipped the most. But it's not necessarily it's, that It's not individually customized. Right. At this right. time, you are not listening to entirely different clips from what? That's our goal. If it's an allowing people to skip and it's not broadcast, right? That means that it is being customized to extreme. Yes, yes, uh, and, yes. And so you have, uh, you have an entire software in place to allow individual streams to be... Uh, See, the content at this time, because we have to pay for everything and it's absolutely free for the consumer is limited right so we provide about 40 minutes of content in a week yeah. right now within this content we the reason why we are asking people to give this feedback is just to make sure that if he doesn't like this kind of content no point broadcasting just this kind of content to him they're not necessarily doing anything with it right no, now i was they wondering about the skipping part you don't not do it what you're saying is, is it running live like a radio station? So the callback just tunes me into whatever is playing? Yes. Or if you're allowing me to skip, that means pre-recorded clips. I am, I yeah, I am capturing that information so that the next time when I'm playing you the clip, I'll not play this kind of clip to you first. 
which means it's not live it's pre recorded stuff yes. that we can choose yes yes it's pre recorded yeah it's not live it's not live it's not a live station it's not a live station so it can be personalized yes. it can potentially be yes yes Yes, which so is what I said. If all of five of us call, so this this is on demand. Yeah, yeah. It is on demand. You can use the yeah, I'm no sorry if I gave that impression. No, it's not live. Yeah, it is recorded. We decide what the content. What, what content type is playing with best then? Um, so Bollywood plays really well. If there's a new movie release, we normally have. If we have Salman a manager rocks. tie-up. Yeah. <laughs> Salman rocks. Salman rocks. Hands down. What is the cost of subsidizing content? पर मिनट पर कॉल क्या करें वी कांट डिस्कस बिकॉज़ यू आर अ जायंट कंपनी यस वी आर सो द कॉस्ट वुड पॉसिबली हेल्प पीपल डिसाइड फॉर हाउ मच यू हैव बेनिफिटेड फ्रॉम अ ह्यूज बजट एज सपोज्ड टू अनदर स्टार्टअप हु माइट हैव बीन एक्सट्रीमली इनोवेटिव बट नॉट एज इंप्रेसिव एज यू बिकॉज़ दे डोंट हैव द मनी दैट यू डू सो इज इट अ लॉट और अ बिट इट्स क्वाइट अ लॉट I mean, the startups can come I and talk to us. We'll relative. be happy to integrate them. I, I think it's relative because it's to say 480 million impressions at this X cost. So I, I, I think somewhere. It's See, but what he's saying is, let's right. say if you have a 40 minute ka library per week, right. which different people can just play. If you're choosing a play order for that 40 minutes of content, right? right? How expensive can just sourcing 40 minutes of content? Yeah. And it's not 40 minutes of pure content. We have our ads also. Yeah. Yeah, we it, are delivering it, brand impressions, free. right? Do you have a limit on the number of calls that someone can make in a week? Uh, we don't. So once you finish your 20 But minutes of content, but if your capsule is over, 40 minutes of content, say, yeah, you can't. This week's capsule is over, so log in next week. Oh, okay, we are way over time, but uh, sorry, from the audience. Yeah, one way. Oh, I can log in. Any brands coming? Are you able to map the geography? Let's say if I want to only advertise in these two. Yes, we can. Yes, yes, we can. Yes, that can be done. Yes, in fact, we started a pilot in the south where a person calling from TN. Not that that's the core market for KKT as such. He gets a Kannada feed. Guy calling from Tamil Nadu will get a Tamil feed. That's one second part of the question. Is how does a Kanjura advertise itself to new users? So we, when we started out, we've had a lot of movie types. So let's say it's Singam or Boss. right these are large scale media platforms that we have and through our existing network of uh, stores in store promotions wall paintings that's how we started so you use the traditional media for that initially yes it, it, for the initial seed number yeah. yes yeah. uh we also encourage people to refer other people yeah, so we said okay program. if yeah. i've reached the correct tg then his uh you know peer group okay. is also going to be the tg that i want to reach out and how's the referral so what you what we do is we tell the user that if you'd like to refer somebody you we give them a unique number which he can share with the uh, are you the, talking about response rates to the referral program no, i'm saying generally how, how does, does it, it work happen? yeah so he shares that with the the person i want to refer If he gives a missed call on the number, we map that him. reference is mapped to. Since you brought up response rate, we might as well. Oh, uh, we've seen around, <laughs> we've seen around 15 to 20 percent response rates on referral programs we've done. So how does referral work for me? If suppose I have somebody, do I have something to say? Yeah. Yeah. So there is a carrot for everyone. Yes, we run incentives to say if you refer three to five people, okay. you get 10 rupees of top line. I'm sorry, one last oh. question, one short last question. Because these are impact on sales. Actually, that matters. Yeah, we have that spot. So uh, sales is a little difficult to track, but in our research, we try to track what is uh, share of voice, which is another metric that marketers use to see where that has gone uh, since uh, KKT came in. So there are. So we actually had it in the AV. I'm not sure if you noticed that. So 60% so, brand awareness and all of that. And 1300 basis. So what we did was for people who listen to KKT, not listen to KKT, we ask them questions related to say wheel or ponds, the brands that we were advertising on KKT. The uh, share of voice before and after is like 1300 basis point up, 1600 basis point up. So people, people's brand awareness before and after uh, has shown an increase. So that that's the one um, correlation that we can derive. We could derive. All right, so so sorry to interrupt. Can we please can we please take that offline? Yeah. We'll just call it a day. Sure. Thank okay, you. Thank you.